Hello. Today, you are going to look at how to do the product of primes. So product means timesing. So we're going to be timesing primes. You need to make sure that you have got the prime numbers listed down from last lesson. So if you could pause the video, teacher, please, and make sure that everybody's got these written down. They should have. So make sure now that you've got them written down. We learned last lesson that prime numbers just have two factors, one and themselves. We learned that one is not a prime number, not a prime number. That's why the first prime number starts with two. One is not prime. Two is the only even prime number. We are doing product of primes, so that is your title if you don't already have the title. Product of primes. What does that mean? All numbers can be written as the product of prime factors. Right. Don't worry if you're not understanding. Watch and I will show you. You have your number and you do two lines from it. Just watch. You'll do an example on your own in a minute. Just watch up at the board. You have to find two numbers that are product. Remember, I said that's timesing. Two numbers that times to make that. Three times by ten. I'm not adding, I'm timesing. Three is a prime number, so I put it in a circle. Ten is not a prime number, so I keep going. What times what makes ten? Two times five makes ten. I'm going to check my list. Is two a prime number? Yes. Is five a prime number? Yes. So they are both prime numbers, so they go in circles. What is the answer? The answer is two times three times five. So I just did these in number order, numerical order. It says the product of primes. So 30 as a product of its primes is two times three times five. Right, don't write these next ones down, just watch again. We've got 24. Four times six is 24. But these are not prime numbers, so I've got to keep going. What do I need to do to times to get to four? Two times two. They are prime, so I put them in circles. How do I get six? I can do two times by three. These are prime, so I put them in circles. And the answer to this one is two times two times two times by three because I've just put all of those and because it says product of primes product I've got to put times there do you notice that even if I do 24 in a different way it will still be the same thing that's two times four and that is two times two so it doesn't matter actually which way you put these numbers it's still two times two times two times by three because i've got a two a two a two and a three so that's the answer to 24 as a product of prime factors but right, i'd like you to write this example down with me so please write e dot g dot I want you to put 28 at the top. Do this now, please. Write down 28. Right. Two lines coming off. We have to times to get 28. The only timesing I can think of is four times seven. Four times seven is 28. Four is not a prime number, so I have to keep it going. Keep it going two times by two. I'm going to look back at my prime list numbers. Two is a prime number and so is seven. So I've finished. Two is a prime number, I'll circle it. Two is a prime number, I circle it. And seven is a prime number, so I circle it. So my answer is two times two times seven. Just leave your answer like this. Make sure you've got this example written down. And you put it in a bubble. If you've got a highlighter, use a highlighter. If you don't have one, you're just going to have to do it in the colour that you've got. 
You need to pause the video so everyone can catch up. Do this. So I'm going to really quickly just do one more for you. 20. 2 times by 10. Prime number. 2 times by 5. Prime number, prime number. What is the answer to 20? It's 2 times 2 times 5. You do the little lines and do times tables to get to it. I want you to have a go at these questions. I only really bothered about you doing A, B, C, D. I've put E, F, G and H for those of you who usually finished work quite quickly. So the question says, write down as a product of its prime factors. She'll start with 20, which I just did. And you've got to draw the lines coming off. Do this in your exercise book, please. 